Good day to everyone. Today I would like to share how to use newer version of Google Meet in your laptop. Yes, Google Meet is updating day by day. So they used to have a different kind of updation they used to give to improve their application. In this video I would like to show you how to use a new version of Google Meet in your laptop. Let's see how to do that. Before that, kindly subscribe Howex channel and click the bell icon so that you can get the useful videos and the notification. Yes, in your laptop, just log in your Gmail account and in the right hand side corner, you will find a nine dots that is Google app. In here, you will find a Meet that is Meet application. You can go by meet.google.com also will be the official one for the laptop version. Yes, here they have given the premium video meeting now free for everyone. So they have given here the two tabs, one is new meeting and enter meeting code. If you are a student means you can able to enter your meeting code that is given from your teachers. Otherwise you need to create your start own meeting. Yes, in here you will find a different kind of three option they have updated. One is get meeting link to share. And second one is start instant meeting. Third one is schedule meeting. First example, get a meeting link to share means once you click automatically, your meeting will link will be created automatically. You can able to share the link with your students so that the students can aware this is a meeting link. I can able to join with that. So using this link, you can also join in your meeting. Yes. So this is a Google Meet application. So the start instant meeting and get a meeting link IDs yeah the second one start instant meeting so start instant meeting means just press the button automatically instant meeting will be started here it will show you the uh, mic and the video camera will be on the uh, join now option will be there and the meeting code will be here you can able to join the meeting so this is a one of the option yes so the third option is schedule in a Google Calendar. Once you click a schedule in Google Calendar, you can able to schedule the event. For example, tomorrow you have event means you can able to schedule and join with the Google Meet means automatically your ID will be created. Yes, using this option you can able to admit up to 100 participants with a schedule event. Yes, so this is also the one of the updated one for the Google Meet yes so now i would like to show you start instant meeting once i click start instant meeting the google meet id will be there and on the top the logo also the google is updated like this yeah so just check your camera and mic is working properly and just click join now once you join now automatically the meeting link will be added here yes i can able to see this is a meeting link and add a people once you click the people adding you can able to add the people and send the invitation to the particular students so that is a easy step beginning itself you can able to admit your student and ask the student to join yes so now i would like to show the entire screen presentation so how the students is going to join and how you have to use a google meet yeah in your left hand side corner you will find meeting details you will find a joining information that is meeting information the code you need to share with your student that is a one of the step and here you will find attachment what is a meaning called attachment means if you have your meeting schedule agenda you can attach with while you are scheduled the meeting for example if you are scheduling meeting in the google calendar you will find a agenda option attachment option once you attach the details means agenda what you are going to talk in the class what you are going to talk in the webinar everything will be displayed in the all students and the participant yes this is one of the step so meeting details will be here here you will find a mic and video camera and end the meeting so that is easy if you want to mute you can mute your microphone if you want to mute your turn off your camera your camera will be off yes so now and moving into the turn off caption so turn on caption if you on means automatically if you are talking any other english language means automatically the subtitle will be displayed as you see similarly 
the same subtitle will be displayed here if you want you can add otherwise just press turn off option automatically your subtitle will be turned off so turn on and turn off the subtitle will be there so google itself they are giving where the dot should come and the sentence wise everything will be displayed for example if don't want to listen the audio you want to need to read the content means you can turn on your caption option yes the third option present now the screen entire screen entire window and a chrome tab for example if i want to share my entire screen means i can share my screen for example i have presentation i have video i have any other application i want to show i can show with entire screen a window means if i have windows so for example i have a premiere pro or any other photoshop or powerpoint windows means i can choose the window i can share the window yes and a tab chrome tab for example i would like to share my chrome tab the mail id or youtube link i can share with audio and i can share with the screen that is a share share screening option yes here you will find a three dots that is more option so for example once i click the more option you will find a different kind of option from downside i would like to show you the setting option just to click the setting option you will find audio and video general so your audio is not working properly means you need to choose default microphone array real tech that is according to your laptop that will show you you can choose according to that and the speaker for example if you don't have a headset you want to listen the audio voice in the speaker means you can choose a default speaker for communication and the video so video camera whether my laptop or desktop has a webcam means that camera will working properly and standard definition or you want a high definition video so please choose a standard definition that will reduce your uh, internet charge that is for example if you are using mobile data means it should be reduced so that the standard definition if you choose means the mobile data will be consumed so that is my suggestions so receive uh, receive a resolution also do not use high resolution standard or uh, the audio resolution also you can choose according to your needs so if you don't want to show the video if you don't want to see the video means you can turn off the video audio only means automatically it will show only the audio the general setup will be there yes this is a major important thing of the setup option so if you have a troubleshoot if you have any other problem you can report to the google that is report abuse and report problem yeah turn on caption i already explained about turn on background blur that's updation from the google just i press that automatically my background will be blurred for example i am staying outside so i would like to join the meeting i would like to explain my information means i don't want my background to show to my participant or students i can ask on turn on blurred background that will help me to do so turn off means automatically my background will be normal yeah this is one of the step that can able to choose once i click the full screen option my screen that is myself my screen will be full screen so i don't want to see all the tabs only the participant that is my teacher or my screen will be present my presentation will be the full screen that is a major important thing if you click a uh, exit full screen means automatically everything will be displayed here yeah and change layout if you like to have want to see all the participants in the single way for example 50 participants i have 50 students i have means i can choose a tiled option so till 49 you can able to see all the students in the tiled option so this is auto means whoever talking that will be highlighted the spotlighted means those who have noise or video on automatically that will display there and slide bar this is normal slide bar will be there whatever model you want you can choose according to that and you can choose according to how many slides and tiles you want you can choose that yeah then the whiteboard option if you would like to show or you would like to draw and show to your students you can use a whiteboard option for max class or any other problem solving you can use whiteboard for example if you're taking online class imagine this class should have the whiteboard automatically you can have the white or blackboard model i have given the video link how to use whiteboard in the description you can click and use for that yeah on top you will find a meeting details about who are the participant 
you want to add the participant just click add people and you can add the people and invite the people to join the meeting and chat option you can chat with your friends and your participant what this meeting is going to happen any other doubts and any other things you can able to ask them so these are the major important updates from the google meet they has given for the laptop yes we are waiting for another updation from the google meet the g suit has the updation option the turn off the screen sharing option and mute all the participant and chat is disabled that option is given for the only g suit operators not only for the free operators they are updating so we are waiting for the update and one more updates they are going to give for the break room as well as the polling option so for example if you want to poll for example if you are going to ask any other students regarding the subject related so how many students are answered everything will be chart wise it will display that every update we are waiting for that the google is going to update means automatically that will help for the online classes and thing yes if you have any doubts please make a comment if you have any doubts just to give your comments so that we can able to know yes please like the video and subscribe the howwits channel thanks for watching have a good day